Um, as an artist, I think it is a really brilliant opportunity for artists to have a say in what's trending in the art world. Whereas, um, you know, historically, it's been the curators, it's been gallery owners that have a lot of money um, that can say what is trending. Yeah. Uh, this takes that power into um, the artist's hands. And it also, this technology is, is really interesting for me. Um, you can actually make money if you sell your, your NFT um, and, and you, you sell it for a certain price. You can actually make a percentage every time it's resold in the secondary market. So that's pretty unique for art. Typically, you don't keep getting mm. uh, a kickback um, every time it's sold afterwards. How, how does NFT, I, I have an idea how they work. I think it, NFTs, the concept is probably similar to how cryptocurrency was. We un, People understood it, but they didn't know how do I buy, what is it, where do mm. I get it? And if you don't know how to explain that, do you understand the process? Like if someone if you had an nft yeah. where do people go what is the platform how does that work there's a couple um there's OpenSea, I which is OpenSea, nice yeah. for for emerging artists that don't really have a large following um but there's some other ones like rarible um where you actually have to get invited in so that's obviously the end goal once you you get a um a nice uh, body of work and people start recognizing you you can actually apply or get invited into these um Essentially, they're like online galleries, re really, and they are curated. Um, but for, for emerging artists, there's free ones um, like OpenSea. Yeah. So people scroll through. How, how it was explained to me is there is a ton of people right now um, that, th that are investors, and they want to get into NFTs. And there's this many artists involved. And reason being is artists typically aren't tech savvy. A lot, majority, me, myself included, we're not tech savvy. Um, so we haven't really, uh, we don't really know much about that world. So um, there's all of these people, there's a ton of people that are investors that want to buy NFTs and this many people making them. Yeah. So right now is a great time to get in. So you would create your digital art and you would put it on this platform like OpenSea. Yeah. Um, are, are people, is it like an auction or they can just, just, they can buy it immediately? Like for example, you only have one quantity in the inventory or 10 or 20. How does that work? So I think you can create collections and you can set your price, but you can also have auctions. So, okay. you know, for the highest bidder, um, it, it really depends. And I'm sure there's, there's tips and strategies for new artists specifically. Um, but the other thing too, is you really have to see what's trending right now. And artists are great at that. They have an eye for what's, what's fashionable, what's, what's working, what people are attracted to. Um, so which these investors don't necessarily have those skills. They just, they have money. They want to buy things. Yeah. Um, they want to, they want to invest in, uh, in, in things that they think will be trending. So, um, it's, it's a pretty cool way for artists to, to have a say in the art world and also to get paid, to get paid. And, <laughs> um, I don't know if this is a, it, maybe it's, it's more of a, a, a personal opinion question. When you, you talk about that as artists, we know what's trending. Mm. Is that kind of uh, an oxymoron in the sense that, well, who cares what's trending? I'm the artist. I want to be free and de develop de to design Ooh. my own art. Or does the trend direct your art? That is, oh, that is completely subjective for sure. Um, I think it depends on each artist. Like, what is your end goal? Do you want to sell a lot and make a lot of Ethereum? Yeah. Um, if so, then you're going to look at what's trending and start making art to feed that, that need. Um, if you're just in it to, to throw your art into the world and Hey, if people are into it, great. Um, then, then there's space for that too. But the interesting thing is, is these, these online spaces have room for all oh, sorts of yeah. artists. Yes. And, and everyone in between. What strategy would you take on? Would you take on, okay, what's trending? Let me design art based around trend or would you design art based around personal opinion and passion? I would have to do personal opinion and passion. Um, I've done a couple um, commission pieces before and I'm not going to lie. It's actually uh, a what, lot what harder. Is, sorry. What does that mean? Commission pieces? Uh, paintings. Okay. I have done for people. Okay. Um, and it's actually a little difficult to stay committed to those pieces when they're not your ideas, when you're doing it for maybe someone else. Um, so if, 
Yes. If I was honest, I would say I, I would make art that's for me. And if people like it, great. Um, the idea is it's good enough that people will see the value in it. Um, but uh, hey, the goal isn't to be, you know, yeah, I mean, an Ethereum millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> As an artist, I, I mean, the, the I, I'm, I could be wrong, but what's, it's not the, the the money and the trend that would drive the artist it's staying true to yourself and the passion and what that that's how you're going to be inspired and create your own art would you say if, if money came into play or trends came into play is that going to drive your art in the wrong direction and maybe that's a bit of a rhetorical question um Potentially, you'd have to feel it out for yourself. If you're creating art and you've completely lost interest or you're just begrudgingly doing it or just turning it out and there isn't really any substance to it, then I think you have to look within yourself and be like, mm, have I lost that spark? Have I lost that 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 thing that makes my art unique and, and important to me? If it's, if it's important to you, great, if it's important to others. But if it's not important to you and, and you're, just, you're just selling it to sell it... Um, I don't know. Is that really art then? For full episodes, visit our YouTube channel, Fruiting Body Podcast.